Sharon from Toronto says she works in an industry where most of her income is from commissions in very large amounts. She says that the firm where she works, in that firm, her colleagues aren't reporting these commissions on their tax returns, so she's done the same thing. She's got two concerns. How likely are the tax authorities to find her? And if she did come forward under a tax amnesty, would that red flag the people she works with and cause them tax problems? We've, we've had cases like that where uh, in one case the lady was making a lot of money in commissions and she didn't report it and then she had a, a, a matrimonial problem and her uh, companion said jokingly ha 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 maybe I'll report you to the tax department he's trying to get more money from her on settlement so she came in to see us we, we negotiated a tax amnesty for her and the day after we negotiated the amnesty he actually did phone the tax department now, there is a problem if she does that. Um, she was caught. I mean, she had to do it. Uh, there is a problem. It's possible they could start looking at the other people in the firm. But I mean, in her situation, it's either have a criminal prosecution or get an amnesty. So it was an easy decision. And if she has the amnesty, then is she immune from any further action that, that might be taken against yes, her colleagues? Yes, she is. She is. She, she might want to talk to her colleagues and say, look, you know, I'm... You she know, might not be very popular. Well, you know, but the problem is... She's look. I'm I'm caught in a situation where I've got to do this, uh, otherwise I'm going to be prosecuted for sure. You better take care of things yourself as you as you will. Is there such a thing as a group a class action amnesty? Could a group of them a group together can go? Yes. Oh yes. We've so done groups maybe, too. Maybe that's the better uh, answer maybe for the them way. then. Yeah. yeah.